What is going on guys, Marijn here and welcome to the vlog. I am on my way to Harlem, gonna meet up with Willem, Headhunters and then hit a workout. I hate the fact that like I always have to call the two names because I like calling people by their real name but then he has his alter ego, just like I had uh, student aesthetics, which is kind of nice in a way but at the same time, when I get recognized on the street, I would hear voices from a distance like, yo student, you know, I would be called student. And, like they never knew my name, you know, and I find that kind of annoying. But um, same thing with Willem, I like to call him Willem but how many Willems are there in the Netherlands? No one is gonna know what I'm talking about when I say Willem. Anyway, I don't have that issue anymore because it's Marijn now. And now people don't know how to say my name because it is a Dutch name, so it's kind of hard in English. But yeah, the struggle always continues. It was kind of funny how people were calling me student even though I was a dropper. Memories, memories. With that said, it's gonna be a good day. Let's roll the video. <laughs> Red Hunters, student camp statics back in the building. January, back on track. <laughs> Let's get it. Back to basics. We're doing a push workout here and the first exercise we're doing is the incline dumbbell press. Now I keep seeing people make these mistakes on chest exercises a lot and uh, not just on the incline dumbbell press but any kind of pressing motion and that is that they do not retract their scapula which is what you see me do here before I lay on the bench. I'm not sure if you see it really good on this shot but I've showed it in multiple videos and it's just very important that you retract the scapula, retract your shoulder blades before you lay down on the bench and then keep them there once you lay down on the bench as well and this goes for any chest exercise. If you don't do this you're not tight in the movement and your shoulders might take over when you're doing any sort of pressing motion for the chest. Because if your shoulder is rounded forward on these chest exercises, you can probably already guess it, but yes, you will use a lot more shoulders than normal. And next to that, it will also put a lot of strain on the anterior side of your shoulder. And some of you might notice that you might have a shoulder injury or you might have pain, and this could be from pressing. And next to that, it also puts a lot of strain on your bicep tendon. So you might also feel pain in your bicep. And it might have to do not with bicep training, but with the chest training and doing these exercises incorrectly. Look at that Woo! smile, look at that smile. Setting PRs today. Games, boy. Like in the gym, the master. Happy Willow was here, even though he can only oh, spot one arm. You got it on camera? <laughs> camera. This is gonna be reposted on gym memes. <laughs> Man, this mini cut is hitting me though. I thought I could easily do any wraps, I think I fell on the thing. Yep, that was fucked up, but I thought I would show you guys because that is real life and that happens to anyone, including me. Now, usually I do not go to failure on, uh, you know, one of my first sets, uh, but this time I did and that is something I actually don't recommend. And I noticed that after I did this, uh, the rest of my workout was highly affected. So it's something that I definitely don't recommend, right? Uh, the idea was to go to failure on the last set of this bench press because uh, he's only doing two exercises for chest. But since I went to failure on the second set already, uh, my third set was pretty messed up. And then afterwards, actually like the overhead shoulder press didn't go well either but um at least we could have a laugh about me failing on that lift and i didn't get injured right because then it wouldn't have been so fun but um again i kept the proper form which is why i didn't get injured because if i didn't have my scapula retracted here if my form wasn't tight i would have had a much higher risk of putting a strain on a tendon or snapping something and as the finisher for shoulder to see the lateral raise holding this at the top for one second before coming down this is a great exercise for the side delt which is not super important for your strength but it is very very important if you want to create an aesthetic physique and a wide look and then last up for triceps, the overhead rope extension. Tell people the news. We were like setting PRs. No, 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 that's not the news I'm talking oh. about. What's the good news? Oh. Why, why am I aiming at your penis? <laughs> you mean body engineers? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm officially, officially an athlete. That's pretty so, sick, uh, bro. I joined the body, body engineers team. Like, uh, it's time to get serious now. No, but it's a good motivation. And um, yeah, man, I'm, uh, I'm proud. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of you too, bro. So even though Body Engineers is kind of a rival of Alpha League, I was actually I'm... afraid to tell you. Uh, <laughs> no, you serious? Yeah. Oh, I was like, I was, I was at Body Engineers. Yeah. And we had those ideas, and I was like, okay, but we made made that picture. But I was like, 
First I gotta tell me Ryan. Oh man, oh shit. Uh, no, no worries bro. I'm obviously happy for you, like no matter what company you're with, like it doesn't matter to me, you know? If you wanna do that, then that's cool, you know? That's good to you. I'm just like freaking proud, bro. I'm still supporting Crystal too, though. I'm forever grateful to you, but people know that already, right? I appreciate that, man. Yeah. But um, yeah, to me it's just sick that, uh, that I helped you with your diet and training and now you're a freaking athlete. That's dope, bro. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks, bro. It was, uh, it was really, really good. Uh, like, really pushed the boundaries, and uh, it's yeah, I'm really making like crazy progress right now. So. Making gains. Hair game, that's your boy. He woke up for a year and a half now, which is obviously a long time. So um, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit fluffy right now. Not that fluffy yet. I would say you've done it very controlled, right? But yeah, you've done yeah, it pretty yeah. slowly. But you just said that you had some uh, insights in uh, bulking that changed for you. Lots of insights, actually. Yeah, in the beginning, I was so afraid to eat in a surplus because I was just afraid to become fat, like a lot of people, you know. And uh, you were like just pushing me, just do it. It will yeah. be fine. You will look good because you actually train. And um, I just went on with it and like just by getting all these insights it's really changed the way I think and the way I see my body um, and I, I lost all the fear to gain weight so that's a big big breakthrough for me you know? that's great man. yeah and um, I've learned to appreciate really appreciate my, my body and um, yeah see myself different in the mirror so I'm grateful for that so how many uh, kilos have you gained so far now 15 it's been 15 kilos. Actually, I was uh, this morning. I weighed myself, and I was 79.9 kilograms. Almost 80. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> probably tomorrow I'll be 80. Um, but it's 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 that will be the first time in my life weighing 80 kilograms. That's uh, quite quite a milestone, right? Nice. Quite a milestone. Um, obviously, I'm gonna lose some of that when we start cutting. Yeah. But uh, yeah, never in my life have I weighed so so much. I started at 65. So yeah. Right, quite, right. quite a big change. Yeah, <laughs> sick. Chicken, hummus, I think. It's quite a lot though. <laughs> nice. My first meal of the day here. We deserve it though. Good workout. It's, it's like my third already. You have, you have breakfast these days, right? I have breakfast, yeah. I actually uh, stopped fasting. Simply because now, in, like so deep in the bulk, I have to get in so many calories. Like at some point, I, I told Willem as well, you, you always are fasting until like six in the afternoon. He was fasting so long and then he had to get all his calories. And Sometimes I, just... I don't even understand myself. When I do yeah. something, I like <laughs> I have to do it at 200%. I was like really going way too far with, with the fasting. Yeah. And, uh, but at some point, I really Really started prioritizing uh, my, my gains just like you know yeah. pushing myself to the gym and I was like why am I doing this you know? if you have the calories to work with and like you are trying to build muscle it's yeah. not ideal to fast yeah ready. at and some was, point we have every so night calories. like I was struggling so hard to get the calories in. I'm like what am yeah. I doing to myself so bottom line is that you have to eat enough in order to grow muscle basic concept but many people still got this wrong many people are still afraid to eat enough food and um, especially girls I would say but also a lot of guys that are skinny and want to stay lean while building muscle they want to have that six pack and they don't want to sacrifice you know getting a little less lean in order to build more muscle on their frame and I understand that this can be very scary and it was for me at first as well um, I've done some insane bulks where I actually got way too fat um, but even those bulks I'm happy I did them and I even gained muscle even though I got fat but I also gained a lot of muscle but gaining such a big amount of fat as I for example did it takes a lot of time guys it is not something that will happen overnight uh, don't even think about it it takes a lot of time and you have to really go through with that even if you already feel like you're getting fat you have to still continue and that's what I did right it's not something that happens in a week from now you have to understand that if you are lifting weights your body needs those calories in order to recover because if you lift weights you break down muscle tissue right so it is just very very important that you eat enough food if you want to get bigger or not even necessarily bigger but simply grow muscle get stronger because if females listen to this and they hear get bigger they think they're gonna get massive and again building muscle is also not something that happens overnight just like gaining fat um, building muscle is extremely hard
hard, right? So you're not just gonna blow up out of nowhere if you are natural, if you're not using steroids, that is not gonna happen. It takes a lot of time. Now, if you are a beginner or you start out pretty skinny or you have never done a proper bulk before, you might actually see that even though you gain a little bit of fat, next to the muscle you gain, you might look leaner afterwards. And that might sound a little weird, but it's very logical because if you don't have much muscle and you start building muscle and you also gain a little bit of fat, it doesn't really matter because it will actually fill out your frame. And for the first time, you might actually see some shapes in your shoulder or your biceps coming out, even though there's also a little bit of fat on there. But that doesn't all of a sudden really matter anymore because you do look a lot better, right? So don't be afraid to put on a little bit of fat and next to that, again, fat is very easy to lose. Muscle is much harder to gain. And you do not get fat out of nowhere. It takes a long time, a lot of consistency with overeating in a crazy amount to actually gain fat. So don't be afraid and make those gains that Willem has done. And I can't wait for him to start cutting down in the summer and see what he looks like when he is shredded. It will be awesome. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you very, very soon. Peace out.